The entity towers over the cityscape of San Pedro, as grand as a celestial cathedral. Its weight is unfathomable, comparable to the heaviest of ocean liners. With myriad eyes that shimmer like galaxies and wings that obscure the sun. Its description may sound extravagant, yet fails to capture the terror it brings. We must comprehend its extraordinary abilities. In its grasp, it holds the power of a thousand divine beings. One stroke of its wings could level the Golden Gate Bridge. Another, in the peaks of Sierra Nevada, would crumble. Breaking news. San Pedro is under siege by a being of incomprehensible dimensions with countless wings, a creature of blinding light, brandishing a massive flaming sword. According to eyewitnesses, every time it swings the weapon, the resulting firestorm causes entire blocks to vanish, roads to rupture, and cars to be tossed around like children's playthings. Be not afraid. The city's emergency services has ordered an urgent evacuation. Residents from District 4 are to proceed to the shuttle station in District 3. District 5 maintain calm and move towards District 6. Districts 1 and 2 make haste and towards the underground subway stations. Hold on! We have visual confirmation. Its radiant form is blinding. Who is this entity? Whence did it come? Where is it headed? What is its purpose? What is its message? Flee for your lives! Oddly enough, it seems to be focusing its wrath solely on churches. The members of the congregation, baffled yet unharmed, appear to be following it? A procession of the faithful. Isn't this the year of the seraphim? And here come the children. Trailing close behind. Strange. They're all converging towards a massive refuge on the outskirts of the city. What a cacophony. Ha! I overshot it! <laughs> Misfire! You're nothing more than a miserable hippopotamus, a lousy, wretched, overgrown, muddy pig, lolling around in the swamps, stuffing your face with whatever swamp garbage you can find. Don't think we don't see through your charade, hiding under that deceptive, quiet facade, when you're nothing more than a voracious, gluttonous beast. You're nothing but a fucking hippo. How do you sleep at night, you behemoth, gorging yourself senseless? only to slumber in the filth you yourself create. You're no king of the jungle, nor lord of the swamps. You're just a phony, a two-bit, pond-dwelling, fat-loaded phony. You're simply a fucking hippo. How dare you, glaring with those dull, lifeless eyes. Those eyes that have seen no struggle, no pain, only the shallow pleasures of a shallow life. You're a monstrosity, a travesty. An embodiment of self-indulgence. You're nothing more than a fucking hippo. And yet you stand there, proud as if you've conquered the world. But what have you conquered, beast? What victories do you hold, except for the latest swamp plant you've decided to devour? You're a fucking hippo, and that's all you'll ever be! I'm Mr. Camera! I can do anything I want! I can steal lipstick from a candy factory! I'm Mr. Camera! I can do anything I want! 
I can shoot a portrait of the Eiffel Tower wearing pink lingerie while doing a handstand. I can frame the sunset as an orange jelly donut overripe with oozing sugar into the sky. I'm Mr. Camera. I control the angles. I can capture a caterpillar dancing the tango with a rhinoceros. I can distort the reality and make the ocean look like a giant bowl of blueberry soup. I'm Mr. Camera. I create the view. You think that mountain is majestic? I can make it look like a molehill compared to an anthill. You said a rainbow's beautiful? I can make it look like a bored teenager's tie-dye t-shirt. I'm Mr. Camera. I twist the perspective. I can show you a flower garden thriving on the moon. I can snap a snapshot of a whale flying through the Amazon jungle. I'm Mr. Camera, and I can do whatever I want. And above all, I can make the whole world shine. Even if it's just a dusty old couch in the middle of a landfill. Question everything. Why do socks always disappear in the laundry machine? Is there a secret society of socks living among us? Do they hold sock meetings in the agitator? Question everything. Why do cats suddenly bolt out of the room at top speed for no apparent reason? Do they see ghosts? Or are they just trying to get in their daily cardio? Question everything. Why does toast always fall butter side down? Is it a conspiracy by the carpet cleaning companies? Or does gravity just have a vendetta against breakfast? Question everything! Why does your pen always run out of ink when you're in the middle of writing something important? Are pens in cahoots with the paper companies to force you to buy more? Question everything! Why do the grocery store line you choose always move the slowest? Is it a test of your patience, or is it the universe just having a lap at your expense? Question everything, and never stop asking, because the truth is out there, and it's weirder than you could ever imagine. Question everything, why do pigeons always seem to target your car right after you wash it? Are they part of an underground bird gang, marking their territory? Or do they just have a sense of comic timing? Question everything. Why does your phone battery always die when you need it the most? Is there a secret pact between the phone and charger manufacturers? Or is your phone just rebelling against overuse? Question everything. Why does your neighbor's dog bark at 3 a.m.? Does it have nightly meetings with the moon? Or is it just trying to compose the next great symphony? in its head. Question everything! Why does the ice cream melt faster when you're savoring it? Do, do ice cream cones have an internal clock? Or do they just hate joy? I encourage you, my people, to question everything! There's a world of mysteries out there just waiting to be solved.
Why do people walk like they've got ducks up their backsides, strutting around with their chest puffed out, waddling from side to side like they're trying to chase their own taffel feathers? Look at them, parading down the street like they're marching in the annual Duck Day Parade. Their lips all puckered up, looking like they're trying to suck the air right out of the atmosphere. Do they think they're ducks or what? And what's with all the quacking? People talking nonsense, just quack, quack, quacking. Always like they're trying to communicate with the mother duck. I tell you, it's a duck takeover. And those duck faces, my lord! Sucking in their cheeks, pouting their lips, looking like they've had one too many big jobs. They're humans, not ducks for quack's sake. It's time to waddle up, people, shake off those feathers, unfurl those wings, and fly like the eagle you are. Stop acting like ducks, ducking around, ducking responsibilities, and just plain ducking mad quack, quack, quack. Oh, and don't get me started on their duck light appetites, gulping down food like it's the last bread crumb in the pond. Their hunger's insatiable, eating everything in their in sight like a flock of starving ducklings. In their ducky fashions, strutting around in bright colors and fluffy jackets, looking like they're ready for duck fashion week. What's next? Beak-shaped hats and webbed shoes? And why are they pooping everywhere? It's like they're following the duck's manifesto to the letter. Pooping on sidewalks, pooping in gardens, pooping on statues. What are we, a giant duck pond? And the worst of all, they start squawking at the crack of dawn. Who needs an alarm clock when you have a flock of human ducks quacking their heads off at the break of dawn? Enough is enough! We need to stand up to this duck menace. We're humans, not ducks. So let's stop ducking around and get back to being humans. Quack, quack, quack. What do you think of my new Christian hairspray? I was born inside a tomato salad, birthed between slices of juicy beefsteak tomatoes, swaddled in crisp green lettuce leaves. My crib, a crunchy croton. My lullaby, the tangy serenade of vinaigrette dressing. I grew up under the shadow of cucumber slices, played hide and seek with shredded carrots. My world, a garden bowl of colorful chaos. My life, a farcical homage to nature's bounty.